For tools and materials for these layers, I'm using 35 pound monofilament line. I've got four hooks, these can either be O'Shaughnessy nickel plated standard hooks, size 2 slash 0, or as an alternative, which might be a bit better, is the thinner wired Aberdeen of the same size, is a black here. I've got some clothes washing line, um, which is the type filled with plastic rather than wire. Then for paint, some black and white acrylic paint. Tools wise, I've got a pair of pliers, a pair of scissors, snoring craft knife and a ruler, and then a couple of nails as paint brushes to paint eyes with. So to create my layer bodies, I'm going to take the washing line, and about two and a half inches, I'm going to cut across it at an angle. That's going to give me the angle at the front of the layer. And then another two and a half inches straight. And then the same again. So two and a half inches, an angle. And then just trim that straight. So then I'm going to open up the end, and this is the flat end, uh, and remove the outer sheathing. So I'm just going to go around there with a pair of scissors. I don't want to cut all the way through, I just want to be able to pull this sheathing off there. And then I'm going to pull this off a bit, about another half inch, just for the moment. So to make it a little easier to put the hook inside the layer head, I'm going to put a slot on the underside of the layer. And I'm going to start probably about a quarter of an inch up from the back, maybe five or six millimetres. Um, so I'm just going to hold that there and I'm going to put a knife into there. Just punch at the back there. And then pull along. Cut probably about two thirds of the length and then stop. That should be enough. So to insert the hook I'm going to start off backwards. Slide it in. Take it back and out the other end. And then I'm going to push this into the slot, the eye. Let's pull a bit more of this out. That's going to make it easy to push the eye up. Because at this stage, I normally grab a pair of pliers. Just really to give me a bit more grip and also cover the end of the hook in case I slip. And I'm just going to pull this up until the eye pokes out. So to form my snood and attach it to the hook, I'm going to thread some line through the top of the eye. And then I'm going to tie a uni knot. So I'm going to make a loop. Let's make that loop a bit bigger actually. There we go and just pinch that loop back to the line there and now I'm going to wrap one two three four five there we go so I'm just going to pinch this end here and pull this this way and then pull back the other way. Probably a good idea to wet this knot up actually. Pull back this way and then that way. Tighten it up. So I can trim here, leave a bit of a tag end. And then taking my pliers again, I can just slide this end over the knot. Let's give it a work up there. So then once you're happy with that, you can pull this along two or three hundred mil and just snip that connection to the reel. There we go. So to make the eyes, I'm going to take a bit of white acrylic paint. I'll just tip some out here. 
and a nail. This is going to make the white. I'm just going to touch that on there and turn it over. Do the same on the other side. Then just hang that up and leave it to dry. And we can come back and do the black. So to make the pupil of the eye, once your white's dried, I'm going to take some black acrylic and a smaller nail and just do the same. There we go. So once your eyes have dried, uh, to protect them you can do a couple of things. If you've got some clear nail varnish, you just give it a coat. Um, you just need to check that it's compatible really with the acrylic paint. Sometimes it will actually strip it rather than protect it. The other thing to do is uh, just to take a hair dryer and set it really with a with a bit of heat. Obviously you need to protect the uh, the monofilament line coming out because that will be damaged by heat. That's all you need really, just to get it, get some temperature into it. I've had these literally last for months attached to a rod um, and not lost an eye. So once you've completed four layers and snoods, you can move on to assembling the rig. And that's on a separate video. There should be a link for you to click below.